Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com and this is episode 136 of Photo Critiques. And in this episode, I'm very pleased to critique the work of June Kwan. June sent me in some really nice images. This first one, very interesting. I like this shot. I like that you did it in black and white. I like that how this little girl on the right is the tallest middle and we have this kind of natural line here. Very well done. I like it. We have this line here helps lead you through the shot. The only thing is the um, this side here, like this here, is a little distracting. And we could probably crop it a little bit. And um, I think it would be a stronger image if we crop it just a little bit. Maybe even bring this over just a little bit more. I think something like that. Yeah, I think that's a much cleaner image and a stronger image than what we had before with this over here and, and whatnot. So very, uh, very nice image though and I like it. I just uh, think you should just crop it just a little bit to eliminate that distracting element on the left. This is a nice shot. This, uh, you know, very uh, backlit trees and we have some nice color. We have the do not enter sign here. This is another scene. We have some kind of uh, like partial framing here. So it looks like we have a garden down here. And it's nice. I think this is one where you work the scene. I'd like to try to exploit this do not enter sign a little more. It's very um, minuscule down here, very little. Almost don't notice it. So I'd like to try to get this, I mean not dominant in the shot, but just a little more prominent in the shot. And I think it would really push the shot over the top. I like the idea you went for here and you did a really nice job. This is framing, uh, like we talked about before. This looks like the Superman uh, border for his emblem. Uh, but whenever we frame, I always say this before, especially if you have a real strong, dominant, obvious frame like this. I mean, sometimes we just have a tree branch on either side, something like that. This is a, you know, we're telling the viewer now, look through here. We have something we want you to see over here. And we're seeing a tree. It's a nice tree. It's nice exposure. Did a nice job. But we really need something, a super strong subject. So if there was a, you know, a raptor sitting here, you know, something, you know, very compelling looking through this very obvious frame that you want people to look through, that would um, add to the shot. This is nice. Typically when, now this is kind of framing too, and we would need something down here. So we have all this here. This is really adding to the shot, though. That's a really nice exposure. And it's um, very, uh, you know, just the way the light is hitting it, very nice. I don't know if that's a willow tree or not. Looks like it is. Very cool. Like it. We have a person here. Could barely see them. They're hiding kind of half between that. But we really need something down below here that's compelling. So. You know, again, it's kind of like that framing we did before. We're telling people where to look, and we want them to look at something very interesting. And you did a really nice job, though, June, on the um, exposure, the, the composition in general. I like it. It's very strong. You did a really nice job. I'm sorry I don't have any of the camera info. Um, also, the pictures were rather small, and I had to blow a few of them up um, so they could we could view them in the video. So we lose some resolution, and this one is one I blew up, but it still actually is very resolute, very nicely done. This a uh, nice shot. We got this um, grating kind of like uh, look through the door. Uh, we call these around here. We call them the storm door, but um, because we get a lot of storms around here, so. Uh, very nice. I like the reflections of the light on either side. So it's a, it's an interesting shot. Kind of a, a fine art shot, if you ask me. It's a very nice shot. I like this. We have the natural leading lines of the railing and the stairways going down. We have the cross, which we kind of resolve on here. We've got a parking lot down here that's not the greatest. Um, sky is, you know, just blue. Not, not a lot of it you know, cloud or anything, but we do have this nice sun and the starburst effect. So this is a really nice job. Um, I think to distract us from the cars, I think if we had a person in this shot, a dog, something walking down the stairs way down here, or maybe two people at the bottom of the stairs facing each other talking, something like that, I think it would add to the shot. This is a great shot. Um, I'd like to know your settings for this. I don't have them, but you did a really nice job. This is really, really well done. It's just 
you know obviously the lights or the the, sh the show here and the star of the show here and it's really I just like everything about it this the stars are very nicely exposed the glare of the city didn't affect the stars I don't know if you added that later the star field but you did a real nice job um, the you know uh, panorama's perfect it really is a nice job June this shot here I like a lot. You did a really nice job. We have these foreground element of the the rocks, and they're not, they're they're dark, but they're not overly dark. I see that a lot in landscapes. A lot of people will have these all silhouetted, and in in this case here, we have all these this excellent color, and you know the the white from the birds, you know, uh, just very well done. It 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 is um, you know, just a little bit over processed. There's a little bit of a glow here and there but maybe just if you back that uh, vibrance down just a little bit or maybe the clarity down just a little bit it will we'll get rid of that kind of glow we have there but we have a nice uh, leading line this kind of line coming in of the pier and it's a real nice shot the sky is beautiful really well done and this shot too you know really well done see it in the rocks there's a lot of detail here a lot of color and it's a really really nice shot I don't see any glows here um, so really well done. Um, I don't know the camera settings, so I, I uh, can't comment on that. But the composition itself, June did a great job. I think that's the last one. Yep, that's it. June, thank you very much for sharing uh, your work with us. I really do appreciate it. Some great stuff. Um, just on the framing, I would say, remember that. Keep that in mind. Uh, you want a strong subject. If you're telling people to look through a frame at something, you want something super interesting on the other side of the frame. And um, that's it for episode 136. I appreciate everyone who watches all my videos, not just my critiques, but my Lightroom videos and my Photoshop videos and my Elements videos and all those other videos and the new stuff I'm going to be coming out with. I, I'm really excited about it. So um, guys, go over to my website, anthonymorganti.com. I got all kinds of photographs photography stuff over there and when I make announcements about the new stuff that's where I'm going to announce it and if you have time uh, go to YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube channel I really appreciate that that's it for now I'll talk to you guys soon